So I want to talk about the time that I got rejected as a CAP facilitator. After doing two or three sessions of CAP, I made an application to be a CAP facilitator. <laughs> and I was so eager, I was like a child. And I have found, you know, it's like you're growing up and you know there's the real world where you have this idea, maybe there's Hogwarts, maybe there's a secret world where I belong, where I truly can be myself, right? A place of magic. Like my inner child truly believed in that and craved for that. So when I learned about CAP, I was like, holy shit, I want to do this. So I applied, got rejected. Basically said only 25% of, applic of, 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 of applicants get, mm, get accepted. It all depends on where you are in your development. So whenever Venant chooses, he tunes it to the name and he, he feels, do I need to train this person or not? And then after that, when he looks at the material, he reads your, your energetic body. He, he reads if you're sensitive to it and he reads your face also. So he, there was no personal advice or like, yeah, any kind of feedback uh, what I should do. It was just like, we're not giving feedback because it, it's all based on his sensitive ability, intuitive ability to intuit. Are you ready for this? Is he supposed to train you? Yes or no? Like I had seen that my videos that I uploaded, that you need to upload when you do an application, they were watched like nine times, six to nine times. So I knew I was like probably considered, but something was still not ready in me. Then I had like a deep disappointment. I felt this deep disappointment like I was rejected. So I, I felt with this rejection, I, I, I walked around with it and I realized this, this deep sense of rejection is because I thought I need to be a car facilitator to be myself, right? I was seeking my identity in it. So that was a gift for me actually, because I realized I don't need to be a car facilitator to be who I am. No circumstance, right? Or person or event will ever give you who you really are. They are just opportunities for you to express a part of who you are or totality of who you are, but they're not gonna give you who you are. Who you are is already here. So it was a gift for me to do shadow work, to release that, to uncover that. And it was, like I said, the, the dream of the inner child of going to Hogwarts being accepted to Hogwarts, learning about magic, becoming a wizard, all that stuff, right? Magic, secret magic school. Da, 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 da. So I released that. And then I started to have cap visions. I thought like, okay, if I'm not gonna be in cap, okay. Like there was a facility that told me, every no is a yes. Because you may have an idea that this is the thing for you, that you need to do this, that this is what you really want. But maybe the universe has a much better thing for you in plan. You just, you cannot comprehend it yet or imagine it yet, right? Because it's outside of your purview of of, um, of what you, you think or what you can imagine about for yourself, right? Because your imagination is limited to your previous ex experience, right? You think you've gone through that, so you, like the more experience that you have, you think you may become this, you may become that, you may become this, you may become that. But essentially, you don't know what the plan of life is for you. So every no is actually a yes. And I was like, okay. So I was open to that. And then I started to have visions where I saw myself going to the training, becoming a CAF facilitator. I remember so vividly, I was receiving the transmission and then I was a CAF facilitator. And I saw how, <laughs> how I was giving CAP sessions and I had a page called CAP by Igor and I was doing free CAP sessions in the beginning for a month or two for people just to to gather reviews, to get people to know me, to, to spread a CAP. And I saw that and I was like, wow. But then I saw it was in the future and then it was like, 
I saw this future event and I saw time a timeline that was like root and I saw a different training that I needed to go through. And I realized I had to learn about energy there and it would be about shadow work, about development. And then I saw the timeline go back again. And I saw I needed to learn about food, about uh, pranic living, about uh, raw eating, about energy flowing through my body because my body has to be in a very healthy state where energy can flow, right? Because there's so much energy flowing through you, all the currents, everything needs to function well, right? Because I've I've been eating meat for a, for a very long time and I had I had digestive issues in the, in the past also, and I've tried going vegan and then back to meat. It's like it's an it's a back and forth game, but now without my trying to. I just naturally switch over to we vegan because I feel the energy is flowing through me more and it's 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 it feels more lighter I feel more energetic I feel more clear I feel more empowered I feel more intuitive more alive more happy so yeah that was the time that I was uh, rejected <laughs>